Denmark came out of the traps quickest. They scored first. Canada, all of a sudden, turned it around with two Nancy Moran goals. But Jorgensen's second goal has led us to this point with 35 seconds left of the first half. It is still locked at two goals apiece. Crystal Dentler drops the ball at Luca Vegstead's feet. Vegstead hands the ball to Jorgensen. They have to get rid of the ball quickly. Jorgensen delivers the ball down the line. It's wide from Nancy, of Nancy Moran's uh, right-hand post. 28 seconds remain in the first half. Nancy Moran looking for a hat-trick, coming between Orgelez and Kneebone in the fourth spot. Right-handed, slams the ball towards the legs of Larson. Larson kicks the ball away, and it goes all the way over, and Denmark, uh, sorry, and Canada will have another try. This time it's Kneebone from the fourth spot. Right-handed, across the face of Larson, into that fourth spot once more, and Luca Vedstead will know she's been in a game. She stays strong on that four spot. There's seven seconds left in the second in the first half. And Denmark decide to take a timeout to set up one last shot. Peter Forsberg has one in mind, I'm sure. It's Denmark two, Canada two. They actually rolled the ball uh, a little early to the Danes. Premature throw to avoid a 10 second penalty perhaps. So, Nancy Moran has a chance from the left hand side. Sends the ball down towards Jorgensen who traps it within her toes. And we are all level at the halfway mark. A very even first half. A very exciting second half to come. Don't touch that dial. It's two goals apiece. No changes at half time. Nothing between these two sides. Luca Vedstead, Maria Larson, and Karini Jorgensen from left to right as they defend. Start with the ball. They send the ball down towards Nancy Moran, who's joined by Amy Nebon in the center and Cassie Orgelez on the left. Vedstead collects the ball back from Moran. Vesta will know she's been in the game today. She sends the ball across the court. Cassie Orgelez at the second attempt managed to sweep the ball out of play. And in the fourth spot, sends the ball across the court where it's trapped by Larson. Larson moves the ball back to Jorgensen on the right-hand side. Just 30 seconds into this second half of the first game of the final four round-robin tournament. Nancy Moran sends the ball towards the outstretched arms of Larson. It's pushed away and Luca Vesta will have the ball delivered back to her on that left-hand post. Holds the ball high. Sends the ball across the court. It's pushed away by Orgelez. Nebone collects the ball for her and Cassie Orgelez on that left-hand side. Puts one foot in touch and then sends the ball across the court into the legs of Luca Vesta. Can't get away through. Down the line. The ball goes from Jorgensen but it's wide. There's an equipment check coming up on the uh, Danish side. When we get a timeout, I will see if I can reset the uh, video to uh, synchronize with the audio once more. We seem to be a little out of sync, I believe. Do try refreshing your, your page there. That might work it too. The ball is in the hands of Luca Vegstead on the left-hand side. Vegstead sends the ball across into the mill. Amy Kneebone blocks the ball. And bounces the ball down into the centre. Where it's collected by Larson. Larson moves the ball across to Jorgensen. Jorgensen right-handed sends the ball down the line. Pushed away by Cassie Orgeles. Orgeles holds on to that ball. Moves to the four spot. Left-handed, sends the ball across the face of Larson into the uh, ribs of Vegstead once more. 
Luka Vestet. The experienced Danish left winger twists and turns and sends the ball down towards Moran. Moran emits a grunt as the ball hits her. She felt that one. She pretends to deliver the ball to Orgeles. Now moves back to the right-hand side and will deliver the ball back towards Luka Vestet. Vestet pushes the ball behind Larsen and actually it comes out with Jorgensen on the right-hand side. Jorgensen sends the ball across the court and into the back of the net! Jorgensen sends the ball across the face of Nebo and finds the slightest of margins between Nebo and Moran. The ball forces its way through into the back of the net. And from the restart, Amy Nebon has given away a high ball penalty. It's gone wrong all like, just like that in the last 20 seconds for Canada. Goal scored by Jorgensen. Penalty given away by Nebon. Luka Vejstedt has the ball on the left-hand side. They're 3-2 up. It's going to come from Nebon's right. It's going to go wide. And the tension kicks up a notch. A missed penalty opportunity from Vedstead, but Denmark still had the lead. Moran wants to do something about that quick. She sends the ball across the court. Larsen kicks the ball away. Larsen moves the ball to Jorgensen. Jorgensen from the two spot forces the ball, uh, forces uh, Orgeles to push the goal ball around the left hand post. She has the ball delivered back to her. Left handed sends the ball across the face of Larsen. Larsen holds on with both hands. Vedstead. Stands in the four spot, right-handed. Again, sends the ball across the court. It's out of play. The ball is in the hands of Nancy Mora on the left-hand side. Nine minutes to go in this game. Denmark have their second lead of the game. They're leading by three goals to two after trailing by two goals to one. Jorgensen comes all the way to the left-hand side, delivers wide. Hits the same spot on the wall that uh, Luka Vestes penalty did. Neither were the desired results. Just to clarify what I did mention in the uh, Accessible World Auditorium, for those of you who may be joining us late, there's no semi-finals, there's no bronze medal game, and there's no gold medal game. This is a final four round robin. The top four teams, the top two from each of the pools, are now in a round robin situation between each other. This is the first game of it. Denmark are taking on Canada. USA will take on Russia. Tomorrow, the teams will play each other again. Denmark will take on the USA and Russia. And Canada will take on Russia and the USA too. It's a four-team round robin. And the winner of that round robin will be the champions. There are no overtimes. Four minutes and five seconds gone in this second half. The ball will be delivered back to Denmark after the ball crossed the halfway line. After Nebon kicked the ball away. Karina Jorgensen on the left-hand side. Left-handed sends the ball down towards Amy Nebon. Nebon sends the ball back towards Jorgensen and finds a gap. Jorgensen can't get back to defend. Brilliant centre play from Nebon. She was up on that ball like a flash. She guessed that the ball had come from the right winger from the left-hand post, which left the gap. She found the gap. She scored the goal. It's three goals apiece. Superb play from Amy Nebone. Nancy Moran causing all sorts of problems in the four spot again. It comes off of Vedstead, comes off the head of Larson, and finally Jorgensen throws the ball away. This tournament, this game, is like two boxers in the centre of the ring, just punching each other out. One being on top, then the other coming back. And we've had five minutes of this second half, and it's still three goals each. Nancy Moran, again, bounces the ball behind Nebon, but now takes the ball back towards the right-hand side. Sends the ball towards Larson, it's loose a little bit, but Jorgensen gets hold of the ball. And Jorgensen will stand on the right-hand side and deliver the ball across the face of Larson. Not a lot of pace on it this time. 
Orgeles on the left hand side transfers the ball from right to left and swings the ball in with her left hand across the face of Larson. Vedstead has the ball handed back to her from out of play. Right handed sends the ball down the line. It's pushed away by Nancy Moran. We're coming up to the halfway mark of this second half. It's all locked together again. Canada three, Denmark three. Vedstead has the ball. On the left-hand side, spins around, sends the ball down the line. Moran pushes the ball away. Amy Kneebone on the right-hand side in front of Moran. Delivers the ball across Larson and into Jorgensen in the two-spot. Jorgensen takes a breath, orients herself on that right-hand post. We cross the halfway mark. Jorgensen gets the ball to bounce off the hips of Orgeles and Orgeles somehow keeps the ball out. Unbelievable defence! The officials are checking whether that ball went over the line. It didn't. Jorgensen sent the ball crashing off the hips of Orgeles. Orgeles, as the ball was in the air, slid backwards. She managed to grab the ball in mid-air. She landed on the line. The ball didn't cross the line. And we're still locked at three goals apiece. Fantastic defence on the left-hand side. Ball comes back from Morin on the left. Jorgensen kicks the ball away. That happened right in front of our cameras. The referee, Crystal Dentner, did exactly the, say, the right thing. Just checking with the goal judges. But the goal judges were correct. The ball, the whole of the ball did not cross the line. Cassie Orgeles laid on the goal line and stopped the ball on her hip. Orgeles sends the ball across the court towards Luca Vestet. Vestet on the left-hand side handles the ball and holds the ball and sends the ball down towards Nancy Moran. Moran emits a grunt and a groan as she collects that ball. A huff and a puff and she'll blow that ball back down towards Larson. She blocks it. Jorgensen, when she sees the video, will know how close she came to putting the uh, Danish side back into the lead. We've got five minutes left. Orgeles, who performed that miracle on the left-hand corner, sends the ball across the court. Larson blocks the ball. Vedstead. Moves into the centre to deliver right-handed. Right down the uh, toes of Kneebone. It's kicked away. What drama we have here in Malmo. And this is just the first game of this uh, four-team final four-round robin. The other two teams will meet after this. And it's no less a mouth-watering prospect. The USA taking on Russia. And then tomorrow, we have two more games for each of these sides and in between those games we'll have deciding games for places too 5th and 6th, 7th and 8th and 9th and 10th you got anything planned for tomorrow? cancel it Luca Vested on the left hand side sends the ball across the court Orgeles was drifting a little bit inside there left a gap perhaps but also caught the ball which is really what matters from a Canadian point of view 4 minutes to go and a timeout is taken by Denmark and we can all catch our breath. Peter Forsberg's the coolest man on the planet right now. Isn't he always? He just strides and saunters out there. Talks calmly to his players. It's three goals each. Ball goes down the line from Jorgensen after the uh, timeout. The ball goes wide of Cassie Orgeles' uh, left hand post. She's joined by Nancy Moran on that side. Nancy Moran will deliver into the two spot. It's kicked away by Maria Larson and she's off like a 100 metre sprinter to pick the ball up and give Luca Vestet some time to deliver. Luca Vestet sends the ball down the line. It's pushed away by Nancy Moran. 3.38 left on this clock. Nancy Moran holds the ball high, sends the ball down towards the legs of Luca Vedstedt. It's kicked away, and in front of her, Maria Larson decides to give it to Vedstedt. Vedstedt, right-handed, again, forces a grunt off of Nancy Moran. 
Moran moves out of the way as Amy Nebo comes to that right-hand side. 